My outfit does not match at all, but it is okay. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. Tonight, I'm gonna be cooking for Casey. We're gonna be doing a home cooking, pretty much one of the first ones in the house. I mean, I've done one before, but maybe like the second one. We haven't really done it too much, and I kinda wanna kick that off here on the channel, but we're looking for some very important news coming from Disney. Today is their shareholders meeting, and they might be releasing the opening date to Tiana's Bayou Adventure, so I'm kind of reading the news and hoping uh, something comes out of it regarding that. We'll see what happens. However, we are currently under a tornado warning, a tornado watch here in Central Florida. There's some big storms circling up north that are sticking around here for today and tonight. And I also just discovered something is wrong with my house due to these winds, and I think I might need to fix it soonish. Do you guys hear that? We got a problem outside. Now this is the first time I've noticed it, but we've got something wrong with my gutter up there. The, the high breeze is making it vibrate and I might need to like rent a ladder. Can you rent a ladder from Home Depot to fix something? Or like, can you rent a ladder from Home Depot? I think you can, but it's rattling when we get an intense wind and I'm pretty sure it's the gutter. Let's see if it does it here. You hear that? Huh? Nope, didn't want to do it. Not doing it now. Oh, it's that wood. I think this piece is loose. I just saw it like shaking. See that? I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's shaking in the wind. Gonna have to tighten that somehow. Now, if you can kind of see this wobbling when the wind goes. See that? I think that's what's loose. I don't know. Of course, as soon as I pull out the camera, it stops shaking, but I think I gotta put a screw in that or something. Let me show you what we are currently working with. It's super breezy out. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, but isn't this area so beautiful? I think it's so cute, especially like this home. It's nice because they live right next to forest. It's beautiful, but look at this weather coming. This looks intense. I mean, it's nothing that we're not used to here in Florida. Believe it or not, tornadoes can happen here. It's like we've got the beginning of hurricane season. I mean, kind of coming here shortly in a little bit, but it is breezy out, very breezy out. I'm gonna get back home before it starts raining because rain, look at this. You think a hurricane might be coming. Hopefully no tornadoes brew because they can. Not good, very, very breezy out. Tomorrow, by the way, we're not gonna have a video. We're going to be having a live stream. And then Saturday, I've got a Hollywood Studios vlog for you guys that I actually just filmed this morning. And that's gonna be coming out Saturday. Obviously, like I said, I had, I had a double vlog one day. So I have videos every single day. So we don't miss a, a vlog. My neighborhood feels like a back lot. Feels pretty empty. Kind of feels like desperate housewives in a way. That was like my first opinion of this area. It's very breezy. Should probably bring in these pillows so they don't blow away. See, these ones are getting dirty. I don't know how we're, oh, did you guys hear that? That was the gutter or whatever. Well, before it downpours, I gotta go to Publix to get our ingredients for dinner here. I did want to go to Moncier Paul um, which is $195 inside Epcot in, in France. However, it's going to be raining out. Would have been nice. I've never been there before, but got to save that for like a special date night when Casey and I can go and document that experience, which is one of the most expensive places to eat here at Walt Disney World's besides obviously Victoria and Albert's. It would have been nice, but thanks to the rain, change of plans. Pull off to the side of the road here. It's kind of a back road. Right by I-4. Those skies are looking quite dangerous. Looks like it's actually over Disney. Less a celebration. There's obviously the Mickey. The electric pole. It's so windy out. I gotta look at the sky to see if there's two. Oh, that's a joke. 
We need some chicken broth. Reduced sodium. I need two of these, that's not good. They only have one. Rotisserie chicken. Two, uh, oh that's not cornbread, I need biscuits. Two of these guys. Scratch that, I almost got the wrong ones. It's these ones, the Southern home style. And then we need some half and half. I don't really think it matters what kind. And that is it, it's a pretty simple recipe. It's chicken and dumplings, by the way. Casey loves chicken and dumplings. It's so nice to go to Publix and have it be right around the corner. If you guys are moving down here, make sure you have a Publix within like two miles of you. Otherwise, it's gonna just be traffic, but I'm really blessed to live literally right behind a Publix, like less than a mile and it's super nice and no one really knows about it yet here in Celebration. There's two of them. There's one right by I-4 and it's kind of like a secret haven and I love it. While I gotta, I gotta look at the news that was just released regarding Disney's annual meeting for the shareholders. I don't think they announced anything regarding Tiana's. Let me look here, but I did actually see some concept art about the new Avatar Land coming to Disneyland. Take it with a grain of salt, here's a picture of it. Not really much to go off of here other than it kinda looks like there's going to be an outdoor attraction. Maybe a little bit better of a Navi River Journey. That's gonna be neat. Hopefully it's not a carbon copy of Navi River Journey, which looking at the boats, it might be. Hopefully not. It seems like it was kind of a, uh, a bummer of a news regarding Disney parks from what I'm seeing. I guess a whole lot of nothing. Thought we were gonna get something regarding Tiana's, we got nothing. All we got is basically a blue sky type concept art that is the possibilities of Avatar. Maybe one day we'll actually get some actual news regarding Disney parks. Maybe though this new Avatar experience is gonna be on the second film, which would be way more welcome than a carbon copy if you're Animal Kingdom, but that's it with the Disney news portion. There was little to nothing to report here, at least that I can see. Let's get to cooking. Yeah, I'm sorry, I actually, we were gonna go to Epcot tonight, but Weather made us cancel our reservations, which I assume you guys can totally relate to. Like, I don't want to go like dress up all nice and just get drenched on. Would have been nice. My absolute favorite part of this chicken or chicken in general is the skin. It's so good. Uh, and lemon, lemon pepper is the best way to go. Without a doubt. Shouldn't be doing this, but. I'm gonna have one of the wings. By the way, the rain has started. Not much wind though anymore. I think we're okay for the tornadoes. Yesterday you guys got to see my amazing backyard. Crazy how the pool fits there, right? But have you, have you guys seen my basement yet? Have you seen my basement? How many of you fell for it? <laughs> I don't think a single home in Florida has a basement. But if you fell for this, hey, you must be from the Midwest. You must have a basement yourself. Okay, <laughs> pause real quick. I gotta, I gotta pause the video here real quick. Yesterday, take a deep breath. I thought it was funny. I had to do it. I saw some of those comments. I'm like, all right, finally got to show you guys my basement. If something as much as a title and a thumbnail upset you, or my content content upsets you, just no one's forcing you to stay here. It's okay, I want everybody like you currently watching right now who, who loves what I do, loves anything I do. Just something to think about. I don't know, to me it's just like, it, it's my humor. It's the jokes I've been doing on YouTube for, for five, 10 years now and like, I have a daily show, and it's how I express myself, it's how you get to know me. I feel like when you have a daily show, you you get to know somebody a little bit better than someone who posts the video once a week, twice a week, or like doesn't have a consistent schedule. Like I'd like to joke around and I have been doing stuff like this for five years now, 10 years on YouTube. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy this cooking video when uh, Casey and I are gonna, are gonna cook tonight. <laughs> it's not that serious. We don't have basements in Florida, by the way. If I got you, I got you. I thought it was funny.
Low-key though, I really miss having a basement. So in the future, remember when I was talking about Tennessee or just like relocating? I, I need a basement. I want one so bad. Just remember, there's more serious things in life than a YouTube thumbnail and title. Especially when I do that three times out of the year. <laughs> Wait till you see Saturday's thumbnail. <laughs> It's a cool one. Side note, here's also my Globa entry card. <laughs> it looks funny. Case should be getting home any minute, but thanks to you guys. Oh, I was watching a, a YouTuber watch. I was watching some MLB. I actually got Paramount Plus just to watch. Some of you guys already know. The one and only Survivor addicted to the show. I got Paramount Plus just for it. But hey, if we're gonna talk about streaming, you guys obviously saw that Disney Plus has a new intro. Not intro, a new like, that. I actually like it. But Wish is now on Disney Plus. Gotta watch it. I don't know if Casey are gonna watch Wish tonight or Survivor. I kinda wanna watch Wish because I've been wanting to watch it forever. So I'm just gonna leave it on here and see what Case wants to do. It's only an hour and 40 minutes. Well, even though we're not at Disney, how many of you guys do this? I will always check the wait times to see how packed it is and it's raining out. There's still a lot of people at Epcot. Mission Space, it is quite crowded. Anyways, let's now get this started. As far as tomorrow goes, my live should be up at around, I'm hoping 12 or one. I'm gonna have it scheduled, but I'm gonna try to ar arrive at the port early and just get to live streaming for, I don't know. This might be a long live stream tomorrow. I don't know why I opened this. All right, this doesn't happen often, but since we couldn't go to Epcot, you know, I got a little stash in there. We only do it for special occasions. Sorry, I don't know why it's blurry. There we go. This in Epcot right here is like 12 bucks. I bought like six of them for eight bucks or whatever it was. It's a German beer. It's, it's obviously the best. You can get it at Publix, probably your local store. All right, so we are gonna be making some chicklin, chicklin, chicken and dumplings. It's very it's simple. You guys saw what I got from the store. Let's do it. I ate a lot of the skin off the chicken. It was really good. You, you need the chicken for the dish? Well, <laughs> you well, ate all the skin. Yes, I know. <laughs> do you need the skin for it? I mean, no, but that's the best part. You ate all, <laughs> you ate like the whole chicken skin. I was hungry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I did leave some for you though. Mm, this looks like it. <laughs> it's hard to say. I ate. Here's what the chicken looks like. I went to town on this chicken. <laughs> it's just very hard. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, good stuff. So, this weekend, this is gonna be the longest that Case and I have been apart. Actually, in a long time. I think you were gonna say ever. I was gonna say like, <laughs> like, like 20 years. <laughs> well, remember when you went to California with your family? Yeah. I think that was the longest we've been apart since we were together. It was so sad. Sad times. This is gonna be a really different cooking video than videos of the past. This is actually really good. Public chicken versus sweet chickens are awesome. And you don't wait for that to be you. Mm. This is like an eating video right now. Is that? Hello. Casey was just singing. Once I turn this camera off, she's gonna be scre screaming and singing again. Yes. <laughs> she was doing, and I, I will always <laughs> love you. That sounded good in my that head. That sounded really good. <laughs> well, Casey got home at the exact right time because it is downpouring out right now. It was crazy out there today. We had a, I don't know if it was in our area, but we had a tornado watch today. We did. Did you talk about that? I did. Yeah, so Ew. it was actually good because I was in the office like during the tornado watch time and then by the time I was ready to leave work, it stopped raining, but now it's raining again. It's like downpouring. Are you still eating the chicken? Do you want them? Isn't it crazy? <laughs> what? Oh, you wanted? I didn't know you wanted. To... <laughs> I went to open my I mouth. didn't know. Isn't it crazy that they catch these and they feed it to us the same day? It's wild. So I'm gonna get to cooking right now. Again, Casey's not really doing much. I had some of this. See, if we had a dog, I'd be like, come here, Winnie. And now this isn't good for a dog, but still, you know. 
leftovers. We gotta take this chicken and shred it on up, Casey, right? Yep. We gotta just, I don't know how to do it, but like, you gotta take the chicken off the bones. Look at this. I am so good that you guys are gonna wanna cook this too. Right? How many of you got a pen and note right now? Or millennials, who's got a phone and notes up right now? Do you talk about this recipe? You probably don't even know where it's from. No, where's this recipe from? Um, it's from Joanna Gaines. Oh! Yeah, it's her, part of her cookbook. I don't have the cookbook, but I have a picture of this recipe. Um, so good, it's so easy. He asked me if, if uh, he should cook tonight, and I was like, absolutely. Well, and I did tell him we were gonna go to Monsieur Paul, or we were gonna go somewhere, yeah. but that was on the list, and then it started raining. Yeah, so then it turned into a cooking video, and he said he was gonna do most of the work tonight, so I wanted, he asked for a recipe idea, and I was like, this is the first thing I, I thought about, because it's simple, it's delicious, you know, it'll like, give us dinner for a couple nights. We don't want the dark meat, do we? Um, really I'm not the biggest yeah. dark meat fan, but how about we, we can save it and, okay. um, but yeah, we don't need the entire chicken for this. Is that what you do? Because I was literally just peeling it. Well, yeah, so you do have to make it smaller. Those are two Do you big. do it with your hands? Mm -hmm. Also, see like that right there? That's fat. Where? Oh, this? Yeah, so like, take that off. We don't want fat. There's also more meat in here that you can use, but this is your show to run, so happy peeling. Can you give me some entertainment and sing? Come on. Um, let, let them tell you if you're good or not. I'm okay. Thank you so much. Can you press that red dot for me, please? So I do want to warn you that this is pretty much all talk right now. All talk. This year, if you know, we haven't been at Disneyland yet. Oh, yes. And that is with purpose because this is no announcement, guys. This is all talk. We were thinking about going to Alani this year. I mean, we we talked about it maybe like once about how we love to, but I don't know if it's feasible for me. Why? It doesn't work. I mean, take a week off. We you had we have that slot. I literally still have it in my calendar. It says Disneyland. Yes. I know you have time off. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, but is that enough time to do? Alani. I was there what, for like four days. No, you were there for like a week. Was it a week? Yeah. Okay, you need four days. I remember it was the longest week of my life. I hadn't even met you yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so nervous to meet you at the end of the week. We could do, we get, we leave on Tuesday, fly home on Sunday. That's enough time. Cause I know well, you yeah, have four days off. Time. You have four days off. Still available with a non, that's dark. Wait a minute. You're right. Tuesday, so we'd have Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday. We, I mean, really, only like three days is necessary. Like there. There. Obviously, we'd have to go somewhere around there too. But I would like to explore around. So I've been to Milani before. Um, we ventured out for like a couple hours. It's dark meat. <clears throat> no, it's not. No, it's not. No. I think this good. is enough though. I don't know, what do you guys think? Would you want Disneyland? Cause I think I'm going to Disneyland sometime by myself. Mm -hmm. um, but would you rather see a Disneyland trip from us or Alani and the price has to be right too because it's really yeah. expensive with Alani. Yeah. Like very expensive. It's like 900 to 1200 a night. You know, and I feel like I would fork out the extra to have an ocean view than a garden view. Yeah. Did you have a garden view? Oh, you had both, didn't both. you? Both, yeah, which is cool actually. Yeah. That's experienced both the best, yeah. best of both worlds. I went in November, the prices were cheaper because it was off season. I would, I would want to do like the live flats yeah. too. That was great. Oh yeah. That, that was everything. Cause that is a long trip over. What do you guys think? Alani or Disneyland? This is, I like this kind of video. It kind of feels like a live stream. Yeah. That's right, good. Both are not like In a stone. trip to, well both are like not really a trip that you would take just for a couple of days. So I think they're both decently big trips to take. I feel like those are in um, similar playing fields as far as decision making. And I, I, you did such a great job. I'm so proud. Well, oh, wait, was... you have other good chicken here. Yeah, we'll feed that to the dog. Okay, we're not throwing that out. We're yeah, gonna to save the dog. it. 
No, we're gonna save it. We're gonna eat dog. it. We're gonna eat All right. It. Step one: cut up your meat with your fingers. This, um, this for this step, you really just do as much as you want. We can half the recipe if we want, because this is gonna yield a lot of servings. But I was thinking that we can freeze like a good portion of it, and then we can also have. I can have lunch tomorrow. We can have dinner tomorrow. Sure. Lunch on Friday. <laughs> mm, let's make the whole thing. The whole thing. Guys, joke's on you. We actually need three of these, not two. Casey volunteered to do the next step. What is the next really step, Your Highness? I really enjoy cooking. The, next, the first real step, <laughs> as far as the cooking goes, is to get the broth boiling. It says to do um, three 32 ounce ones. I only got two. That's okay. Good thing we had an extra, the one I picked up yesterday. Yes. Very nice. I always have chicken broth on hand. I use it for a lot. Dump it in, dump it in. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of the smell of chicken, chicken broth. broth I mean, How is chicken broth made? From bones. That's what I thought. From water and sometimes like veggies. And I took a cooking class in college and we actually made our own homemade um, it was chicken broth, beef broth, and vegetable broth. And after that, I swore to never make it homemade again. I absolutely hated it. Yeah, it I would rather disgusting. just buy it in one of these. <laughs> this is probably the easiest meal we have ever done because it's basically you empty chicken broth and then you put the chicken in there and then you'll see this next step. For everyone who wanted a healthy meal tonight, this one is not it. This is very unhealthy, but very comforting, especially for a rainy day. I'm using the cutting board tip that everybody left down below a long time ago to wet a paper towel and place the cutting board here. It doesn't really move as easily when you're cutting. Um, otherwise, this thing was flipping and sliding left to right. Y'all wanna know the funny thing is, Casey just took everything over. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just getting the ingredients out. Okay, your turn. Okay, nice, let's I'm do just it. Like, I don't know. She likes to cook. I do now. All right, what do I do? Okay, you're just gonna put some flour. You can either put it on the counter or you can put it on, um, just kind of like place it out. Yeah. You good? You know, yeah, you can either place it on the counter or you can put it on a cutting board. I usually put, do a cutting board so that it doesn't get the uh, counter quite as dirty. What is this for? Spread it out. What is this for? This is for the biscuits? It's for biscuits? the biscuits. Oh. The flour from the biscuits, because you're going to kind of coat these, um, it's nice because it helps to thicken up that broth. Yeah. And Sweet. then you can throw in some extra in there. This reminds me of kitchen cavers in elementary school. What was that? Kitchen gamers. I don't know what that is. No, oh, you cook. Do you hate opening biscuits like I do? Kinda, no. Kind of scared. Do you want to do it? You push right there. Use both thumbs. I don't think I've ever done this. Okay, wait. This is a first. Put it like, put your thumbs like. Was it going like, to pop? Yeah. Wait, like, I not, like, do, not like, not like, it's not going to like, not like a champagne okay. bottle. <laughs> no, go like. What do I do? Go a little bit down. Hold right it, like here? right here. Really use the force. Anakin, I have the high ground. <laughs> hey, I don't think you did this right. I definitely did. Okay, go more in here then. Okay, wait, there we go. See that seam? Yeah. Just push it. I <laughs> Okay, wait, you're not. You're gonna do it. Like, do you do it? <laughs> it's actually really hard. <laughs> I'm so scared. Or just like whack it. What do you mean? <laughs> Also, like I said, you can half this recipe if you do that. Just, Look at that! Just do one of these, not two. We didn't really need to do two, but what? Does it smell great? I love the smell of biscuits. Actually, it smells it like- It smells like, like dough. I love it. I was gonna say it smells like cardboard, then I realized I probably smelled the cardboard. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'm taking the biscuits individually and kind of, um, flouring them on both sides and squishing it down. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut three 
and three. So we're gonna have nine little squares and we're gonna toss them into the broth once that gets boiling. We have gone to town on, on this. We're such good cooks. Kind of felt like I was, when I was doing this, I was at Domino's, like I was you know, doing pizza. Next step, to put the dumplings in it? with the juice. I'm doing this very weirdly. But... Well, that's completely normal. It kind of looks like we're deep frying it. Kind of does. These are gonna get gigantic. Oh, also. What? This is eight to 10 servings. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you all know. <laughs> so, feed your family. Have some leftovers. This is a really cheap and easy meal to make. Um, if you, you don't really feel like cooking. Like, or if you didn't plan on cooking, <gasps> this is a good meal. Did you just drop one? I don't know. Did you throw this out? Throw it nah, out? No, it's gonna- Five second roll? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I will be honest though, this is Casey's meal. I'm not the biggest fan of this meal. It's just okay in my eyes, but if you guys make it, let, it, let us know. Kind of like soup, you know? Not the biggest fan of soup. You can also add in um, like frozen vegetables, um, jazz it up a little bit. We just didn't, I kind of forgot we could do that. You can also add in some more flour if you want to thicken them up. <laughs> <laughs> the ones leftovers. Don't worry, we're gonna freeze like half of this. Holy easy cow. Next, you gotta dump a cup of half and half into the mix. And then sprinkle some peppers on it. I love pepper. And some salt. Look at that salt. Once you do that, if you want to add the chicken and you can, but since it's already cooked, I'm just gonna add it in like right before we serve it, just to get it warm. Um, but cover it, put it on simmer on low, and then cook it for about 20 minutes until the biscuits are cooked all the way through. And that's it. And here's the creamy, delicious soup. Oh, we added the chicken too, by the way, and after. I added it about five minutes before I served it, just to get it nice and warm. All right. You ready? Yeah. I wish it's we could be really in, hot. enjoying this in our basement. <laughs> also, it's really funny because we bought bar stools, but yet we still love to eat right here. Yep. It's because we like to watch TV. It's probably really hot, be careful. Yeah, I don't want to burn myself before the yeah, cruise. Yeah, especially with your, um, oh, your cruise coming up. The biscuits really make it good. Yeah. That's what kind of makes it really good. It just tastes like southern comfort food. It's really not bad. I just probably wasn't in the mood for eating soup because I never am, but today I'm really But it's so don't cozy, it. right? With the rain and the, the chilliness of this cold front we're getting. I like the biscuits. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, with that, everybody, we're gonna watch Wish and have a nice rainy night in. And um, we'll see you tomorrow in the live stream. No video tomorrow. And the video that I filmed in the morning is going up on Saturday. And the one that I'm filming tomorrow is Sunday and hopefully on Monday sometime. And I, it might not be the original time. I'll have um, a video up because I'm getting off the ship and I might not be able to upload on the ship and I'll have to upload when I get back here. So expect normal time, nine to noon-ish on Monday will be the cruise vlog. So we'll see you then tomorrow. Bye bye, live stream 12 to two.